Rebecca with Read 3 d um, I'm here with David from Uber to Kong and Punktopia. Um, we're here with some Tallman 3D printed um, PET paddles. Um, David, why did you want to get into uh, 3D printing for your business? Well, I saw it as a, a lightweight and cheap option to paddles we've got, and I wanted to sort of experiment with the, yeah, this kind of very, very new form of printing. Yeah, um, so Tom from Tallman, um, so generously gave us some uh, filament and we were able yeah. to print. We've got two here. Um, we experimented with some settings. This one um, we did at a lower temperature. This one was at a higher temperature and um, I think we found the higher was a little better quality. Um, but yeah, it seems to work pretty well. We had a little game. We just played for about 15 minutes mm -hmm. and it took me a few minutes to get used to it. We yeah. get the, used to feel the, the paddle, but it's um, they play pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And they're nice and light, so yeah. I'm impressed. Awesome, what would you do different next time? Um, I mean, we were very keen to, to look at this because we thought we could get uh, companies logos kind of, or branding on the pad. So I was thinking the, hand, you know, the handle logo would be good, maybe new to to start with. Um, and if there's a way we could kind of, you know, what's the word? Uh, emboss? Yeah, exactly, like emboss a logo okay. onto the surface yeah. without affecting the surface. Oh. And the ball bouncing on it, that would be great. But other than that, maybe the fit maybe slightly thinner mm -hmm. as far as width goes. But other than that, it's. Not a, I think we found the looks, gorilla glue, glue wasn't the best glue. The glue kind of yeah, the glue kind of does kind of yeah. come out a little bit. But, but um, uh, yeah, trial and error. But the handles, stuff. like the the actual you know the, the shape of the paddle and the handles here, I think the, the look is good. Yeah, I agree. Pretty consistent, so. Yeah. Awesome.